my biggest joys in Mourinho memories. I was a Man United fan when I was a kid, and when Porto knocked Man United out of the Champions League, he made me cry. Last game of three for the table. Growing up in Portugal, it's a football mad country, you know, and he was obviously very well known from when he managed Porto. So it's very special to play for him. During his time at Sporting Lisbon, midfielder Eric Dyer caught Jose's eye. I think it's like public knowledge that in the past he tried to sign me, so I think it's a manager that hopefully believes in me and, and, and wants to try and help me. Jose has called Eric into his office to understand why he hadn't been making the starting lineup under Mauricio Pochettino. What's going Honest, honestamente, comigo, para teres deixado de jogar. Um, eu vou, eu, eu, eu estou a perguntar porque é mais fácil para mim perguntar-te e ouvir a tua opinião do que estar eu a, a tentar pensar por que razão é que é, 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 é que não, não é? Eu, não sei, eu acho que sempre foi complicado depois de lesões. Ele quer que faça a recuperação durante muito tempo. Qualquer, qualquer um ele é assim. E aí foi fora. Qual é difícil depois de entrar? Nessa altura foi falar com ele e disse assim, ó, oh, me disse assim, eu sou, ou, ou faço parte dos, dos teus planos ou não, eu se não faço, tenho, tenho que ir embora, tenho que ir para o outro lado. Nesta época já foi complicado desde o princípio para todos, não é? Sim, foi, exato, para todos. Complicado. Eu vou dar a minha opinião muito, muito, muito simples. Eu, como tu sabes, gosto de ir como jogador, não é? Senão Sim. não tinha levado. Acho que... Eu ter chegado, vocês podem estar tristes que o, que, 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 que o vosso ministro se tenha ido embora, que é uma coisa normal, mas eu acho que para ti pode ser bom. Sim. Ok, estamos de acordo. Obrigado, ministro. See you later. This is Tottenham's third defeat in a row. How do you do that? every single game. Same problem. So, why are you keep on saying these comments? Because nothing's changed. Okay, well then put a name on them at least, yeah? It's a whole team, it's not one person. It's a whole team. You keep on saying the name the whole team. How can I name someone? It's not one person. Do we even go around the whole team? Just sit like a spoiled kid. Do we need to name the whole team? I'm not saying put a name on it. Do we need to name the whole team? Yeah, name the whole team. What's the point of that? You do this, oh, you just sit there. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It'd be more helpful if you did. When we lose, I find it very, very difficult to turn off from it. I find it very difficult to sleep, find it just ever constantly like, nothing can distract me from it and I, afterwards and I'll just be constantly going through it in my mind. Maybe if I made a mistake or if I think in some things I could have done better, you magnify everything. The pressure we feel is the pressure we've put on ourselves. You know, we've done very well together as a team for a few years now. So we always expect to, to be up there and challenging and when we're not, Right now, we're not in the position we want to be. It's a very tense place. Well, I don't have a PlayStation at home, but I'll turn up my, uh, you know, my team. So... Uh, offside. He's offside. If I have a good connection with the people off the pitch, I feel like our connection on it is so much better. It can sometimes be like uh, having a go at each other or, or not being happy with each other, but because the relationship is so strong off the pitch, it doesn't matter what we say to each other on it because we have that base. Hey! Nah, bro, you can't be serious. You're so jammy, man! People always used to say to me when I was younger, there's no friends in football. Oh, leave it out, man. This is bullshit. <laughs> but I feel like my teammates here is like a family and, you know, I'd call every one of them my friend. What are you doing? We keep playing. It's an awful standard.
and Tottenham Hotspur are out of the FA Cup. As the players return to the dressing room, Eric Dyer's attention is drawn to the stands. Eric Dyer going into the crowd. We don't know what's happened. Eric Dyer seemed very, very upset. You see the images of that? No. You went into the stand. No. I was just there and I saw a massive scuff. Yeah. They were like, the scuff open. I was like Eric in the middle. I think Eric Dyer did something that we professionals, we cannot do. But in these circumstances, I think every one of us would do. Uh, if the club does that, I, I will not agree. Thank you, guys. But you did wrong. <laughs> 